All right, Todd here with Jeep Speed Shop. Here we're gonna have an awesome topic and we'll be talking about this a bit. This is a uh, complicated kind of uh, no common sense topic because this is what I get all the time. Common sense, people try to put common sense towards things that are like governmentally run. You don't put common sense to government and this is a topic that always drives me nuts because I live here in the awesome state of California. And so this is what's going to be told. We're going to talk about this is going to be all twisted up. This is going to be a mess because everybody always says to me, Hey, Todd, they put a 392 in a JL. How come I can't put one in my JL or my JT or my JK or whatever? Well, I'm going to explain to you now why many reasons for the jk okay but we'll touch on that in a minute here we have a jt that we're putting a hemi in this engine's not staying here either it's just kind of a mock-up uh, i've already put different engines in this thing move things around trying to figure out my life on this deal but this one we are going to make smog legal this is a 2021 jeep jt gladiator all right and here's the rundown on this uh, fun fact. So, all right, we're gonna go to the emissions label right here. All right, and it's awful bright right there, that's no good. So, on the emissions label, it says uh, a Super Love 30 smog, all right, or an S Love. So, ultra low emissions, but super ultra low emissions 30 percent so this is a one of you know they don't do this in any, hardly any vehicles for chrysler except for the gladiator the gladiator gets this sutra super ultra low 30 emissions standard okay so you can't put or you cannot put any other engine in that is not at the same standard has to be super ultra low 30 standard so you can't put any ultra low okay so all right so here here's the hood off our jl okay so and this jl it had a four cylinder turbo all right but this is an ultra low 70. so you can put a v8 in this easy er than the jt because of the standard so you know you know i guess the the four banger doesn't isn't as clean as the three six so they set the standard on this one differently than they did on the gladiator all right so on to another emissions label Wee. So this is our JL, okay, that we're putting a different hood on. This is a hood off of a uh, 392, and it's got an emissions label. So this is also 21, oh no, 22, uh, 392 JL, different emissions standard for this. It's a LEV. So, 11160. So, <laughs> that's how they get away with putting a 6.4, uh, boom, in this Jeep. But this Jeep, I can't put a 6.4 in. Uh, I could put a 5.7 in this, in this Jeep, but I can't put a 6.4 because this Jeep actually came with a 2 liter. And we were just going over the other hood that came off this thing. And it is not the same emission standard. So, all right, now over to a JK. Now, JKs, I'm going to say they're simpler, but they're different, right? So, here's a JK. This one is emissions legal because we have our carb standard set for this. And this is an ultra-low emissions vehicle. So the engine, like this one, truck engine, 
is legal. Truck engines are ultra low engines. All right. So we can put an ultra low 5.7 truck engine because you can't put a 5.7 car. Can't do a 6.4. Got to be a 5.7 truck in this Jeep JK because the emission standards are the same. This is an ultra low emissions engine, ultra low emissions vehicle. So that's why we can't put 6.4s in these things legally. I, I tried a little bit, tried to see if I could sneak my way in, figure it out, emissions, blah, blah, blah. They're like, nope, nope, nope. So I got away with the, the 5.7. I don't say I got away with. I did it legally, did it right. Went through all the proper testing and channels to get this done right. So that's why the JKs and all the JKs from 07 to 18 are all ultra low emissions vehicles. And so that's why we use the truck engine because it's also ultra low. All right, so got a little more fun coming up. All right, we're gonna go back to the Gladiator. All right, now the Gladiator, using a 5.7, right? Well, they don't make a 5.7 truck engine that is super ultra low 30 until 2026. So 2026 Dodge Ram truck, half ton, four wheel drive, is gonna come with a super ultra low 30 5.7 truck motor. So then I can put that in here. It's the only engine that'll work in this thing legally in the state of California. So that's kind of what we're up against. And you know, it's a topic that I get brought up constantly. Todd, hey, they do it in the, you know, the JL392s. How come I can't do it in mine legally in the state? No, you can't because of the emissions requirements. And the reason why is because each manufacturer has a, like, a set value or a uh, emissions uh, value that they have set against all their vehicles. And this is how they did it with the Jeep, right? There's some Jeeps get, a, you know, a diesel, they have a different emissions value. The four cylinder has a different emissions value. The six, four, uh, you know, the, um, I'm sure, which would help me is the E Jeep. So that Jeep will help me because you know, it brings the credits down, right? So the credits for the e-Jeep go down. So then now they're probably, and they are actually, it's 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 happening, it's in production. Uh, the Jeep Gladiator is getting a 392. So then that emission standard will change on that Jeep. So that, but I'm sure it's ultra clean. I'm sure they figured out some way to make it to where it'll work, be emissions compliant and fit whatever standard they put on. I don't know, ultra low, super ultra low, whatever they come up with. And that's what they're testing. They have to go through through, through the EPA. And But I know in 26, there are, is going to be a Gladiator with a 392 in it. And so that's why we're going to uh, put this in SEMA. And we're going to debut this in 26, having an emissions legal... 5.7 liter, be a truck engine. Um, and honestly, we'll, we'll go over this in times coming up, you know, about how that works anyway. It'll be a lot better and cheaper, you know, for a lot of guys who don't have a bunch of money. Um, it'll be easier too. So, but yeah, nope. The uh, truck engine's going in this Jeep. 6.4 is out, uh, but we're staying with the HP 75. Um, and this Jeep will get a couple different transfer case options, either the JT case or a JK case, which would be cheaper and easier. Um, we're going to, you know, put a spin on all this thing and see how this works out. But for emissions, that's what this conversation is all about, is being compliant, at least in the state of California. It won't really matter. Um, in any other state, it'll be pretty much compliant. I don't know about the EPA on that deal, but that's not going to be my problem. That'll be yours because you'll be putting the engine in and you'll be in your state. Um, because I'm going to follow the laws and the rules for my state. And, you know, but I'm sure your state doesn't check it and it's not going to be a big deal. And I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, Whew. 
all right so you know i'd love the comments i'd love to find out where we're at where everybody's you know where their everybody's heads at you know uh any concerns because i gotta tell you man that three six and the gladiator is absolutely horrible flat tapping cam holy crap really it's the same as my 70 chevelle or 70 camaro you know oh now we need zinc again but we ban that we don't get zinc so now we just eat up camshafts uh, the world we li live in sometimes you just go uh, just amazing so all right well this is my idea this is my way of fixing the uh tap it problem or the cam problem just put a bigger motor in it call it a day and we'll try to see how we can do on cost see if we can trim the budget as much as possible but still putting a whole motor in a jeep man it's gonna be cheap cheap i guess but maybe you know because i don't know how much those three sixes cost so all right well topic of the day emissions you know i do love clean air so there's no you know i mean <laughs> who wouldn't love a 396 and a muncie four speed one of these things ripping through town i'd do that in a heartbeat but <laughs> i can't do that Ooh, as much as i'd love to but no ain't gonna happen we are uh we're in this and i want clean air so i can't do what i want to do i gotta do what we gotta do right Whew. okay Jeep Speed Shop, out.